Hi, I'm Dr. V. I'm Chief of the Spine Pain Program at Bloor Pain Specialists, and today I'm going to be talking about MRI. My MRI says spondylolisthesis. That's a big word. What does it mean? It sure is a big word. It's one of the longer ones in medicine. So spondylolisthesis is a misalignment of our vertebrae. And when you think about that, it's kind of talking about a subluxation or almost like a dislocation of our vertebrae. In some cases, this is a mobile issue where the ligaments are loose and our vertebrae are actually sliding along each other day to day. We can test this by doing x-rays in different positions called flexion extension x-ray, where our vertebrae, which stack on top of each other, when we change positions, some of them will dip. We see a movement. They change, we change to another position, they go the other way. And we can measure those changes so that we can see as somebody flexes forward at the waist, four millimeters of movement at this particular level between two vertebrae. They lie back at, and they lose five millimeters in the other direction. What does that mean internally? That means that the rings of bone are sliding along each other and pinching all the nerves that are passing through. A lot of people will get symptoms overnight. They talk about they wake up at two in the morning, they wake up at one in the morning, they wake up six times a night because their leg is numb. It feels weird. They have to sit up. They can't get proper rest. Why? Well, one of the reasons is because they have mobility in their spine when their muscles are asleep just like they are, and their muscles aren't holding their bones together. Sometimes there are other reasons in terms of their bed so and so on, in terms of their positioning, that's causing them to pinch down on their nerves. Sure. But in some cases, it's a misalignment of the vertebrae. In other cases, this is not a mobile misalignment. Mobile ones will point us more towards being concerned and thinking more about definitive therapies like surgery for stabilization and safety. But stable, non-mobile misalignments, stable spondylolisthesis, are misalignments of our vertebrae that are typically resulting from arthritic growing joints. And just like we've all seen people with large hand or large finger knuckles, where the finger no longer goes in a straight line, it takes a kink and goes in a slightly different angle. Well, our spines, as those joints get bigger and bigger and bigger, the two vertebrae slide over each other with the joints growing into each other, pushing the vertebrae apart. And that misalignment uh, is very common. So when you think about normal alignment of our vertebrae, the ends line up to each other. But with spondylolisthesis, sometimes you have a misalignment where vertebrae slide in one direction or they slide in the other direction and you have a misalignment. Now, that misalignment can narrow this window. As it slides, there's less room for nerve. As it slides the other way, also less uh, room for nerve. And that can cause people to be symptomatic. If it's sliding back and forth day by day, that's going like this. That's a lot of friction. That's a lot of contact by bones, which are hard, into soft structures, the nerves that are passing by. It's not present in everybody, obviously. But when you look at population data, scans of people to see how many people have it, when we look at populations above, say, the age of 65, it is very common, about 8 to 10% of the population, to find some degree of spondylolisthesis. 8 to 10, that's 1 in 10 to 12 people. That's pretty common. We all know 12 people. We all know 12 people over the age of 65. And yet, not, it's not necessary that somebody will have symptoms. That slight misalignment will get worse over time in some, but it's not a rapid process typically. Decade by decade, when it is looked at, the, it can increase, but again, it is not necessarily related to symptoms. It should be taken into consideration. It should be taken into consideration because spondylolisthesis can pinch the nerves that are passing through by narrowing the space between two vertebrae. It should be taken into consideration because somebody has an arthritic joint, it's not going to move as normally as it would when it wasn't arthritic when they were younger. And so some of their rehab efforts might have to be adjusted. Some of their therapies might need to be targeted towards that sensation of that joint to allow for mobility of the musculature around by, say, doing a radiofrequency ablation of a joint that is otherwise so arthritic. 
Thanks for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions that you'd like us to address in a future video, please leave them in the comments area. If you want us to answer any questions about your care specifically, please contact the clinic directly.